And so it's another Ed puzzle for you to hopefully translate the sentences that is the last part of this document that we've been working on since December. Remember we started out with these sentences that were chock full of participles. These sentences that were chock full of, sorry about that, um, gerunds, gerundives, and the like, and now we have this short little passage, and just like for the Eke passages, I will be giving to you on Canvas a quiz, both multiple choice over all of that, and of course vocabulary. So do the best you can. Now the key is, is that when I get to a end of a sentence or clause, I'm going to pause, have an open-ended question for you to do the best to translate that you can. To get full credit, you just have to try. You don't have to get it right, but just try. So let's go ahead and begin. So uh, first sentence, Cornelia. A cellar, remember, is a sedan chair. So sedan chair. Ah, service. Now, this looks like an album of a personal agent. Y'all all know that service are slaves. But let me point out here that we have quibus dom. Now, remember, when you have qui, qui, quod, cuis, 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 and so forth and so on, with a D A M, then it is going to mean, and I think I find him right here, a certain. So here, qui, qui, quod, cuis, 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 D A M, it's going to mean a certain. And when you have is, a, id, is, 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 uh, remember that being he, she, it, with a D, E, M, it's going to mean the same, certain and same. And you have to be aware of one word that kind of looks like both of them, but it is qui with a short I, not a long I, D, E, M, like that over there, but it's neither of them. It's just an adverb that means indeed. So it's a little bitty word that sometimes throws you off by what you think it might necessarily be. So let's go ahead. And uh, look at the rest of these. So this is quibus dom. You don't look at this dom part to see what it modifies, but you look at that part. Lata comes from ferro ferry tuli latus, a fourth principal part. And here it is then going to be the verb to bring or carry, obviously. And remember, as we look over here at our participial chart, participles, that the fourth principal part, ferro ferry tuli latus, is the perfect passive participle. So hopefully we'll translate that correctly. And seeing as it ends with a short A, it is modifying Cornelia. So which Cornelia? The Cornelia Lata. Insula a servis cubistam. Now, Cornelia, multos is many, modifying homines. Homines are people, humans, men, if you would like, I suppose. In we is currentes from curro currere, but look at the form here. Currentes. And so again, we look over at our chart, that, of course, from the verb that means to run, it is the present active participle. Do you see the thing that is going to have an NT and then a third declension ending? And then weed it. Weed it, of course, is from widea widere weedi visus to C. And, of course, it has the perfect stem and the perfect endings E, is the it. So, walk you through it. Cornelia, the one lata in cella a servis clubestam, that Cornelia weed it. Multes homines and the homines correntes in weis. So try your hand at translating that sentence. Good luck. And so it says, Cornelia, having been carried in the sedan chair by certain slaves, saw many people, many men, running in the streets. So let's take a look at the second one. There we go. So ili e idem. Now, Ili, remember, comes from Le Ila Elud. And here you can see Le Ila Elud, that and those. It's the Ili that is here, not the date of Ili to that guy, to that girl, to that neuter thing. And of course, you have Hikai Koke, this and these for the plural. And remember as well, you can take the Isa Id because we're going to see a Idim in just a moment as well. So here we go, in which it says Ili, remember, that would be the plural of that. And a idem, remember when it's isa id plus dem, it'd be same. And so we need to make this plural, so it'd be those. Quidem, remember I had it written up here just a second ago? It's not quidam, and it's not idem, it's indeed. So I'll go ahead and give you the definition there. Excellent. So your verb is potuere. Now, remember for potuere that it comes from posum. Pose, potui. So in the potu ane, we see that here it has that u of the perfect stem, 
So that's either going to be a perfect ending, a pluperfect ending, or a future perfect ending. Quickly, the perfect endings, E is the it, M is is this errant, or the alternative ending, ere. And that's exactly what we have here. Remember that this verb means to be able. So, in quidim, ili e idi, potuere, conspiki. Now, conspiki is a infinitive. Now, remember here, it just ends with the letter I, and that is because the passive present infinitive, the short ERE of conspicere, turned into conspicki. And so, remember, this would look like this, conspic. You see? Erre, that erre turned into E. And then ulis is ulus, ula, ulum. And it means any, as in any person or anybody. So it says, you're going to try and translate from ili down to potuere. Ili e idem, idem, potuere conspiki ab ulis. Try your best. And it says, those same ones indeed were able, have been able, perfect tense, to be spotted, to be caught sight of by anybody, quote. Quote is going to be because omnes in insulam, remember that this is, of course, this means all. This is an apartment building. Flammies, obviously, are flames. Looks to me like they are in the ablative or dative. Fumo is smoke. Looks to me like it's in the ablative or dative. These are both ablatives because they are ablatives with oppressam. Now, oppressam is a fourth principal part. Oprimo, oprimere, oppressi, oppressus, oppressa, oppressum. With that middle one, oppressa, we could, of course, decline it all the way down. It means to overwhelm. Overwhelm. But I'm telling you it's the fourth principal part. It's just the fourth principal part in an accusative ending because it must be modifying the insulam. And then we have a paraphrastic. It is a future active paraphrastic. And remember I called them idiot proof. And the reason they were idiot proof is because you can translate each individual part as though it were standing alone. So errant, imperfect of the verb to be, and recusuri means to run back. And so you could translate it as you would supposed to, and we can look over here. The future active participle acturus, the translation. So let's go back and see if you can have your hand at it. It says, those same guys were able, have been able to be spotted by anybody indeed, quote, omnes errant recusuri in insulam. The insulam oppressam flamis fumo que. And remember the que means and, as though the and appeared before it. Good luck. Try your hand. All right. Nevertheless, moving on to the next sentence. That it now says Cornelia matri in altra cella. Cornelia, we know matri is mom. And please note the case of mom. Mom is a third declension feminine. Mater, matris, matri. So there you can see it in the dative case. We have it. In altra, altra just means another. Remember this was a sedan chair. Excellent. And then we have sedenti. The NT with a third declension ending from a verb that of course means to sit. It again is a particular kind of participle. Hopefully you remember. Right there. I'm not going to be telling you in the future on that. And so here it must be modifying my tree because dative singular, dative singular. Then we have lacrimatura. Of course, this word means to cry, but it's lacrimatura, and it tells us which Cornelia. So, it says, Cornelia, the one lacrimatura, 
Clema, and we all know that means, of course, shall. And Cornelia, the one lacrimatura. Clemat matri in the David case, the one sedenti in ultra cella. Translate from Cornelia to Clemat. Good luck. So it says, Cornelia, about to cry, shouts to her mother, the one sitting in the other, or another, sedan chair. And then in quotations, what she shouts. So, she says, he and coli. That's from hic, hi, hoke. Remember, this and these. Encoli are actually, even though it's first declension, masculine inhabitants. Inhabitants. There it is. So, ulis from above, remember, means any. Kibibus are citizens. Auxilium is help. Looks to me like it's in the accusative. Ferentibus is ferro ferre tulilatus. Note the NT plus the third declension ending. It's a particular kind of participle from the verb that means to bring or carry. And then serwandi erunt. Now, serwandi erunt is a unit. Don't look at serwandi, you cannot see it. Don't look Mrs. at erunt, Mary you Harris, cannot see it. The front office. Instead, Mary Harris, you look at it as a office. unit. And as a unit, it must be a future passive periphrastic. And that shows obligation. So it says, he in coli serwandi erunt tomorrow in the future, five minutes from now, just in the future. Ulis kibibus ferentibus auxilium. And that ferentibus must be modifying the kibibus. So it says, these inhabitants, and this is what she says, will in the future have to be obligation, saved, and it means to save, by any citizens. Now normally remember, your agent with a passive expression, like a perfect passive participle, is an ablative of a personal agent. Ablative of a personal agent, to be spotted by anybody having been carried by the slaves. But when it is a future passive paraphrastic dative of agent, do you see how there's no a ah or ab? Ah? And so, it is your dative. Normally dative's two or four translation, but when they are the agent, with a future passive paraphrastic dative of agent, these inhabitants will have to be saved by any citizens bringing help. Bringing help. All right, let's move on to the next one. It says, ali quid, ali cui. Now, ali quid, ali cui, again the best. A simple four-word sentence, but incredibly difficult unless you know what's happening and going on. Now, let's take a look, obviously, here at the relatives and the, uh, what are known as interrogatives. If I were to take the same chart, uh, quiz, quiz, quid, and I'm saying quiz, quiz for the masculine and feminine, quiz, 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 quo, 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 you know that it is asking the question who and what and of whom or whose, a question mark, and to whom, question mark, to whom do I give the money? Whom do you love? With whom are you going to go to the store? But when you put on the front of it, A-L-I, Ali Quis, A-L-I, and you do that for all of them, it's going to turn into some or any, and if it's masculine or feminine, person, someone, anybody, and over here, it would be something or anything. And so, when we look at that in the context of what we have in our sentence, right here, it says, Ali quid, the neuter, again doom est. Again, look at it as the fact that it is the future passive participle, plus a form of the verb to be, it makes a unit of the future passive paraphrastic showing obligation. But now the obligation, not in the future, but the obligation right now. So, then you have Ali Kui, which remember, if we just look at that chart, Ali Kui is in the dative, but we would expect it to be there because the future passive paraphrastic has a dative of agent. So Ali Quid, Agendum Est, right now, Ali Kui. 
Do your best. It says something, and wait, 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 must be done, must be driven by somebody. By somebody. So I'm going to have to remind myself on this word and that word making it. All right, so let's continue on for the last one. Ego, so we have ego, we need to go find a verb. Ah, oh, there it is, wolo. We all know that wolo means want, and that's only there for emphasis because of the O. And so, ego, wolo, omnes encolas. Remember, those are inhabitants. Habitants. And ego, wolo, walde, this just merely means very much, and tells you the degree of that action of wolo. And then we have sewari. Ah, an infinitive. We can see it over here. Serre to save. So what is it going to be for serre? And of course, this does come from the verb to save. So, ego walde wolo. Omnes in kolos serre. Try your best to translate it. And it says, I very much want all the inhabitants to not say, but to be saved. And then we have the last sentence. Cornelia, nimis serro dixise visa est. We're going to translate from here to here. So, nimis is a word down here, and it is going to translate as excessively or too, and it is working with the word serro, which is, of course, going to mean late. Now, Cornelia, and then our verb, is visa est. From the verb video, videre, vidi visus, which means to see. But in the passive, the verb very often, not to be seen, but to seem. To seem. And then you have dixise, from the verb dico, dicere, dixi, dixis, to speak or say. And so over here, you realize the perfect passive participle is the perfect stem, dix, plus the isse, we're dealing with the perfect active infinitive. So, Cornelia, visa est. Perfect passive participle plus the present of the verb to be is going to make a perfect passive verb. Make it perfect and make it passive. She, visa est, dixise, nimis serro. Do the best you can. You don't have to get it right, you just have to try. More than just saying, I don't know where I'm confused. Cornelia seemed da, 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 to have spoken too late. Quote, we all know that means because. Now, we've got to be careful with this because we saw it in chapter 29 or 30, fire chapter. This is the noun that means strength or force or power. It is a third declension I stem. And I'm going to decline it on here for you right now. In the nominative, it would look like wis. And then here, it would be to a short I wis. Then we, then whim. V-I-M, it's that strong of an I stem. And then here, we. But in the plural, its stem is V-I-R. But it is not men, it is strengths, it is powers. We're re-um, we're rebus, we're raise, and we're rebus again. And so the we raise that we see is either that we raise or it is that we raise. Strengths. Quod, we raise. In colarum, remember these are inhabitants. In candio, ooh, it's in the ablative. So you remember by way because of from an on at fire. And then you have oppressi esse. The perfect passive participle plus esse, as we can see over here, the perfect passive participle plus esse makes for a perfect passive infinitive. These are all infinitives. And your verb that is taking we raise as its subject is we sigh errant, which remember again from video videre weedy visus to see, but when it is passive, it has often, as it does here, the meaning to seem. So Cornelia seemed, did seem to have spoken too late. You now translate, quod we raise in colarum. We saw errant oppressi esse in candio. 
do the best you can. She seemed to have spoken too late because the strengths of the inhabitants had seemed, it's a pluperfect passive verb, to have been overwhelmed by the fire. So, thanks so much. Good luck.